Welcome back everybody. In this video we are going to talk about constraint in Revit. Now this is a very important lecture so you gotta pay attention what I explain here. Now I'm gonna zoom into this room. Now if I select this window you see that I get this dimension. These dimension are called temporary dimension. The reason why they are temporary dimension if I click away and as you can see they will go away. Now let's select that window again and now you can see these pivot points here so we can click on them and they will align according to this wall so I'm going to click again and then it gives me dimension from this point to middle of the window I'm going to click on this pivot point again and now I'm getting a dimension from this point of the wall like this inner side of the wall and the starting point of the window I'm going to click on this pivot point again and now I'm getting a dimension he here from this point of the wall to the any point of the wall like uh, not the wall actually window this side of the window now what if I want to change this uh, the, the location of the window I will click on this dimension and I want to make sure that I have a distance from this side of the wall to the window would be five feet so type five and press enter now I'm gonna check that dimension let's go to the modify tab let's click on this command it's going to ask me to save and project. Let's just save it. And now I'm going to click on this point and this point. As you can see, we got exactly five feet a distance from this point of the wall to the starting point of the window. I'm going to press escape. The temporary dimension will go away. I will select the window again. And you can see this uh, little icon. If I hover over my cursor to this icon, it says make this temporary dimension permanent. Now. If I click on this, now our dimension has become permanent dimensions. They are not temporary anymore. So even if I click away and get out from the command by clicking on the modify tool, the dimension stays there. And now if I select this dimension, I get a few more options such as this lock icon. I have the lock icon down here as well. What does that mean? That if I lock this dimension, then this point here from the window will be locked to five feet of this wall. Now let's look at that. I'm gonna try moving this wall. So let's select the wall. I'm gonna move this wall up. And now as you can see that the window is moving as well and it's keeping the five feet distance. Now why is that? It's because if I select that and I will unlock this now and if I move this wall down it is going to change the dimension and move the wall down but it's not going to move the window with that because we didn't lock that dimension I'm going to press Control Z and I'm gonna lock this dimension I'm gonna click on lock and if I move this wall that wall will be moved with the window now if I move the window let's just move the window and you'd see that you were not able to move the window anymore because the dimension is locked to this wall. Now that's how you can create a constraint. Now there's another option you see we have this called EQ, which means equal, so toggle dimension equality. Now to show you guys that, I'm actually going to delete this dimension and the rabbit's going to ask me that if I want to keep the constraint or not. So I'm going to unconstrain this. Now if I select that, I get the temporary dimension back. And if I click away, the temporary dimension will go away. Now what I want to do here, I have the same size of the window in these three rooms. I want to make them equally uh, inside this, uh, this side of the wall. So let's do that. I'm going to click on the wall. And I'm going to click on this arrow to make this a permanent dimension. And then once I select the dimension, I get this EQ sign so I'm going to click on it and now as you can see we have this EQ EQ it means the distance from this wall to this wall is exactly in the middle so the window is exactly in the middle of our room now by default it shows EQ that means it's it, it's basically dimension equality so your object will be in the middle according to these pivot points now let's say you want to show the dimension instead of this EQ EQ sign. So you can select the dimension and look at the properties palette. And here we have equality display. 
I'm going to select that, click on this button, we get the drop down menu. And I can choose a value. I'm going to click apply. And now we can see the dimension instead of EQ, EQ sign. We have the separate video for all of these dimensions command. But in this video, I'm just showing you how you can make a temporary dimension as a permanent dimension. Now you could apply this to door or any other object. So let's select this door. And right now we have two pure twines. So I'm going to click on this pure twine and make sure it's aligned to this wall. I'm going to click on this pure twine and now it's aligning to this side of the door. I'm going to click on this dimension and change this to, let's say, 0 space 6. That would be 6 inch. Now I can make that dimension as primary. I keep saying primary, but it's actually permanent. Now we have this icon here. I'm going to make it permanent. Now even if I move this wall now, as you can see that the door will move with it. Now we're getting an error outside, but I'm going to move this down. First we need to move this window down so it wouldn't give us an error. Let's click on this. I'm going to move this down. And now as you can see that all of the constraints are moving with it. The window is moving down as well and the door is moving as well. Let's select the dimension and lock it up actually. So we'll move it down and there you go. The door moves with it. So this is a, a quick video about constraint in Revit. We'll talk about this a lot more in uh, our actual project. And I think in a couple more videos after that, we're going to start our project.